me down a cane pole, I got a date with a big brown trout. Hey, mama, cut me down a cane pole, cut me down a cane pole, I'll get stuck. Hey, mama, cut me down a cane pole, I got a date with a big brown trout. Hello, hello, everyone. Thank you so much. Welcome and good evening for coming to the Celine Fiddler's Philharmonic's annual hometown show for our 30th anniversary. Let's hear it again for the 30th anniversary. So if you've never been to a hometown show before or even a Celine Fiddler's gig before, what we do is we play, we dance, we sing. Some of us even switch instruments, me. And we also have to acknowledge our wonderful dancers upstage. This is Michelle and Priya. Let's hear it for them too. We're gonna talk a lot. Not only will you see do us doing all of that, you'll see a lot of our lovely and very dedicated and exceptional alumni come up stage later. And one of these alumni is actually a two-time Grammy nominee, and he is our special guest star tonight, Jeremy Kittle and his band, Kittle & Co. <laughs> So for this next set of tunes, we do a lot of sets of tunes. Jeremy actually wrote the second one called Disconnect, and I hope you all enjoy Morrison's Jig Set.
tune is actually a small group tune that just me and Isaac are going to be playing. Um, it's made up of two tunes, the first of which is called Blackberry Festival Foot Race, is by a guy named David Fisher. The second tune is a tune called Four Reels, and it's written by an um, amazing violinist named Hanukkah Castle, and she's actually written a lot of my favorite pieces of music. Um, I started learning this one back in like September of this year, maybe, and I've been working on it off and on ever since. At first, it was supposed to just be like a fun tune for me to learn on my own, but then I decided it might be fun to maybe perform it. So I asked Isaac if he would learn the chords and play it with me, and here we are now. This is actually our first time performing it, so I hope you enjoy. <laughs> Um, <laughs> so, a uh, fun fact about this next song, it's um, my personal favorite out of all of the things we, uh, th favorite thing to play out of all of the things we play here at the Fiddlers. Um, another fun fact, most of you probably don't care. We care, Lou. Um, it starts off with a solo between our amazing violinist, um, Michelle. Woo! And our pretty good mandolinist, Isaac. Woo! Personally, I'm not entirely sure how you can have a solo between two different people, um, but I'm not really a language biologist, so it's not in my jurisdiction to decide what can and can't be possible. Anyways, here's Marcus' moment.
So, as you walked in here tonight, you might have noticed there was a table in the lobby, our merch table, um, and there we offer our CDs, we offer t-shirts, and we also have a donation bucket. So the reason we have this set up um, is so we can fund our playing as a group, um, and we can go and play gigs for a lot more people and have a lot of fun doing it. So um, we just want to let you know that our merch table is out there today um, if you want to get anything. Um, and it will help support our tour this summer, which will be going west to Chicago, and we'll also be going to Minnesota. Um, so without further ado, our next song is going to be Colin Baton Rouge. I uh, hope you enjoy. <laughs> Setting my love down to Baton Rouge Hurry up, won't you put her on the line I gotta talk to the girl just one more time Hello, Samantha, dear, I hope you're feeling fine it won't be long until I'm with you all the time But until then I'll spend my money up right now to my last dime Calling Baton Rouge Operator, won't you put me on through? I gotta send my love down to Baton Rouge Hurry up, won't you put her on the line? I gotta talk to the girls so one more time One of my favorite things about being in the Fiddlers is that it is such a unique experience. What kind of 18-year-old can say that they've been on tour and been on stage in front of hundreds of people? Not many, I don't think. And one of the things that makes this experience so special is that the Fiddlers play so many tunes that are written, especially for us, by artistic directors, by assistant directors. And this next tune actually has its own special story. So can Sheila Graziano please come up to the stage? So this next tune is a combination of two different songs, Shovelin' Uphill and Sidetrack Jig Set. And the first one was written by assistant director Luke Panning. And it's written in honor of our dance instructor, Sheila, actually. It's inspired by the snow, shoveling up her really long driveway. We all know how that is. And the second one is about Sidetrack Bar and Grill. I don't know if any of you have been there in Ypsilanti. I say it in every announcement. I've never been there. But I'm glad you all enjoyed. And so I am actually one of the senior dancers, so I have had the great pleasure of being able to be working and dancing under Sheila for almost four years now. So thank you, Sheila. And 
This next tune also features dancing from our wonderful senior dancer, Isaac, so you'll all get to see that, as well as all the dancing that you'll get to see by me, Michelle, and Priya later. And so I just wanted to give these flowers to Sheila because for the 30 years that the Fiddlers has been alive, Sheila has been there for 29 of them. <laughs> Sheila is always saying to all of our dancers that because we all went through fiddlers and, and all of it in COVID that we are so strong, but I truly believe that the strong spirit of the dancers and this whole group truly is around Sheila. It's oh, all of the you, strength that you've given us. It's all of the perseverance. And while I give you these set of flowers, there are not enough flowers in the world to thank you for all of your hard work in the fiddlers. This has been the most amazing journey, and I'm really impressed that in the fiddle club there's a second generation fiddler now. So we live on. Thanks for coming tonight. Thank you. Thank you so So I hope you all will enjoy this next tune featuring dancing and a solo from our wonderful senior violinist, Roman, and some dancing from Isaac and Sidetrack. So I hope you all enjoy.
Okay, so this next tune is a fun fiddler favorite, and it was actually one of the very first songs I ever learned in this group. And I would say that's pretty epic, and this next tune is called Epic Reel. Hi. Again. Um, so uh, this next tune is um, oh, fun fact about um, tune and song. Um, there's actually a difference. A tune is a piece of music without any lyrics, and a song is a piece of music with lyrics. And um, you get candy if you can correctly tell how many times we mess it up. Um, so fun fact about this tune, uh, there's three dancers, obviously. Um, uh, there's Marielle, Michelle, and Priya, who um, unfortunately dropped the three M names. So, um, yeah. Uh, another fun fact about this tune is that it is made up of actually three different tunes, um, or I don't know their names, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, uh, it's surprisingly common in the Fiddlers to have um, multiple different small tunes or songs mashed together into one amalgamation. Um, and you get another candy if you can guess how many we, that, isn't, that doesn't apply to. <laughs> Anyways, here's Old Georgia Timber.
of these senior parents, you know who you are, please come up to the stage right now. Yeah. So most of the seniors graduating right now have been in the group for four years, and traditionally, that, excluding Andrew, but we've appreciated the time that he's been here, although we wish it was four full years. The seniors usually compile a song and play it together, or a tune, or you know, whatever. And so, we are gonna play that song for you right now. This is one that we kind of came up with at summer camp and figured everything out to be able to play and do for you. Uh, first of all, okay, sorry. Can you come over here? We're gonna give you some stuff. <laughs> sorry, I danced two tunes ago. I'm, I'm just <sighs> trying to trying to chill. Anyway, you have been our lifelines, quite literally keeping us alive, driving us to gigs, paying our tuition, volunteering with the group, uh, feeding us, giving us water and other liquids that keep us alive, driving us if I didn't say that, helping us with tuition for the group if I didn't say that, maybe helping find us to get into colleges, supporting us through our academics, supporting us through fiddlers, supporting us through every extracurricular that we've been doing. Thank you. The song we're going to be playing has kind of a lot of very deep meaning. The, the, the writer of this is very lyrical and metaphorical, so it is a song that is fitting for a senior class to play. It's kind of about, as you can guess, getting up and moving to a new life. And we came across the song Summer Camp, arranged it, and put it together for you. And I was just told, sorry, I have another sidetrack completely from that. Alumni, this is your secret message. You know what that means. Secret message, <laughs> alumni. I'm sending it. You getting it? You're getting it. Wonderful. Yeah. So as I was saying, this song is one that we put together. It represents our feelings about moving on, and we want to play it for you. So this is Graceland 2 by Phoebe Bridgers. Graceland T-O-O, as we will get to Graceland 2. Hope you enjoy. Outside without an excuse, she could do anything she wants to. She could do whatever she wants to do. She could go home, but she is not going to. So she picks a direction, it's 90 in Memphis Turns up the music so thoughts don't intrude Predictably winds up thinking of Elvis And wonders if he believes songs could come true I'm asking for it if they do Doesn't know what she wants Or what she's gonna do A rebel without a clue Well, 
left of our serotonin to chew on our cheeks and stare at the moon. Said she knows she lived through it to get to this moment. Hate us, leave us all teens on my floor. And I knew that I would do I would like to ask the Celine Fiddler's alumni to come on stage before I start announcing. So, this, so I have some good news, I have some okay news, and I have some bad news. Which would you like to hear first? That, uh, we're not doing the good news. The bad news is that this is our last song of the set, or of, that we're performing alone, I should say. The good news is that this is our best song. And the okay news is that Buffalo Gals wasn't on the set tonight. I can't stand that song. <laughs> but before we get started with this last song, I'd like to say some thank yous to people. I'd like to thank the tech team for keeping the sound system going throughout the performance. We wouldn't have been able to perform without them. I'd also... I would also like to thank Hornet Light and Sound for hosting this event, because without them, we wouldn't have been able to perform here tonight. I'd like to thank Mr. Breyer and the Fiddle Club for performing before us. Once again, I would like to like, thank Sheila for everything that she's done to support this group. I'd also like to thank the donors for making, keeping us playing for people like you. <laughs> and finally, I would like to thank all the Fiddler parents for taking us to each event, providing us with food, water, everything. We, you are the people that would, are really the things holding this group together. Oh yeah, and I'd also like to thank the artistic directors, Sarah, Becca, and Kurt. Without further ado, this is Orange Blossom Special. <laughs> Thank you. 
Did I hear someone say encore? All right, before we get to the encore and Yen's speech, I forgot to say something last time. Yeah. I'd like to invite all of our new fiddlers to come onto the stage for this last song. I will start saying names.
Oh, here we go.